بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو اینڈ ویلکم ٹو ڈاکٹر ثاقب خان سائنس اکیڈمی ٹوڈے ان دس ٹیٹوریل وی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ ہاؤ ٹو پلاٹ یو ویزیبل ڈیٹا یوزنگ اوریجن دس ڈیٹا وی اپٹین ڈیورنگ اور ڈائی ڈیگریڈیشن اسٹڈی دا ڈائی وچ وی یوز ڈیورنگ دا ڈیگریڈیشن واز ریئیکٹو بلیک فائیو ٹائی وی ڈڈ دا ایڈزاپشن ایکسپیریمنٹ فار آلموسٹ سکسٹی منٹس اینڈ آفٹر ایوری ٹین منٹس وی پٹ اور سیمپل انٹرول ایز ٹین منٹس you may have different time interval so for every time interval you have to take that and in u visible spectrophotometer we did the uh, we run the spectrum we run the spectrum from 400 to 800 nanometer as we know that uh, the peak for our nanometer uh, for our dye is around 498 or around 500 498 to um, 499 or 500 so at this time interval we check the uh, sorry at this uh, wave length uh, we check our uh, sample so between 400 to uh, 800 nanometer we check where the sample is showing peak and uh, how much is it at intensity with the time interval you will see uh, when we will uh, draw our graph you will see that with the time interval the peak at the peak at 0 minute it was it contained high amount of rb5 its in intensity was higher but with the passage of time it in its intensity decreased so over here as you can see that this is the data which we obtained from uv visible the wave number and then the cor- its corresponding absorbance at 0 minute at 10 minute at 20 minute 30 minute 40 minute 50 minute and then at 60 minute now what we will do i'll just copy this data control c and then i'll put this data in my origin software this is my origin software then i will copy its name as well where is the wave number and where is the absorbance so i'll put this over here so this is my wave number this is time in minute the absorbance at different time interval so i will write minute over here you can copy paste or you can do it what i am doing the wave number is in nanometer so i will write the nanometer over here okay as we don't have to put any formula or any uh, anything so we will select all our data and go to the line graph now the line graph you can directly go from here or you can plot it like this uh, plot it from here okay so we will directly go from here the line will select the line graph and it will draw a line graph for this data for us okay one thing which we let's delete this thing one thing which we forgot most of the time we forgot that this thing that whenever the wave number as we know it is always on an x axis you can use this as the wave number is same you can use the same wave number or you can just directly set it as x okay you can directly set the wave number as x axis in older version of the origin you have to go like this one select this one right click and then set it as 
x but in newer newer version you can just put it the cursor over here and it will show you that what do you want to do so just select x axis if are you if you are using the latest version or the newer version so we have set our x axis we will select this and now we will go for the uh, line draw so after this you will get this kind of line graph what we have to do we will first set our x axis from uh, 400 okay. over here we will go to the scale on horizontal axis scale we want to start it from 400 till 800 let's see over here 800 okay. and the vertical axis or y axis we want to start it from 0 till 1 apply and ok so it will show us like this so we can also do it till 750 but I think 800 is ok now what we will do we will select these and change its size to 3 now this data our data is at different time interval so we will change the legend as well copy this and then paste it so we don't forget what is where 0 minute then this is 10 minute you can copy this and paste like this later later on you can change this thing that this is 10 this is 20 then this is 30 minute 40 50 and 60 minute so this is my data i'll remove this one okay now for publication purpose we need some changes over here so we will change the x-axis as uh, intensity or absorbance the unit is arbitrary unit so we will write it a dot u dot this is our wave number we will just delete this one the numbers and then then we will change the uh, line index we will come to the line index and in the line and ticks for major ticks we will show none and for minor as all also none apply this and you will see that our major and minor ticks are removed for x-axis if you want to keep this minor line it's okay but some but most of the time in our uh, But most of the time in our papers or in our article we don't to take the uh, minor the minor one so we will remove the minor one but it is up to you what you want to do okay apply this so it will remove the minor now we will go to the grid as we want 
this graph to look better so we will uh, put the additional line opposite line and click apply and ok ok if you want to uh, remove the frame from this right click double click and then after double clicking it will show you uh, this kind of uh, text object frame box so over here you just put none and ok so the frame will be removed now what you have to do first change its this thing into times new roman then your wave number the default one is the aerial so change everything to times new roman as for the paper or for the article or for the thesis we take this one is in time new roman so now it's look it looks much better if you want to increase the size you can increase the size normally we recommend the size as 28 over here then 28 over here also this one is not changed we didn't press enter after changing so change the size and then press enter and this one as 26 or 24 this one also as 24 so you can put it like this you can increase or decrease size is okay so hopefully now you understand how to draw uh, how to plot your UV visible data into region now what we will do we will export this graph right click on the graph export graph you can copy it directly or you can export the graph so right click then click on the export the best uh, format is TIFF, PNG or TIFF, uh, whichever format you want. Both the formats are okay. I normally use the PNG, so uh, give the file name. For example, I want to give is the UV with uh, spectrum spectrum all okay. and then wherever you want to save it give the file path to it so i want to save it on desk uh, in in my document so i'll go to the document and click ok whatever dpi the recommended one is 300 but if you are uh, a reviewer want or your journal uh, need uh, another dpi then you can change it but normally we use the 300 dpi i'll go to the then i'll open my document and uh, you can see over here we have the UV visible spectra of all as TIF file. So we will open it. So you can see a much better graph 
a very good graph hopefully now you understand how to draw a UV visible graph if you got some information pr from here please hit the like button and if you want more videos like this please subscribe and hit, hit the bell button so you can get the notification of the videos which i upload on my channel thank you and allah